Oh, hello. How are you doing? It's Friday morning. Yes, it is. Oreo. He's super excited. Look at him. Look at him. He's, he's crazy. He crazy? He crazy. He's a crazy puppy. It's friggin' weird. It's actually pretty chilly in the house right now. I actually closed some windows. That's pretty dicked. I find uh, to get this house nice and cool on hot summer days, all I need to do is crack some windows. I was thinking about getting an air conditioner, but now I'm like, why bother, you know? All you gotta do is, like, I have this window open and that's it. I had to close this window because I woke up this morning and was like, holy crap, I'm shivering. That's pretty dicked. Yup, pretty dicked indeed. What the hell's going on in my eye? I figured it looks like I got punched in the face. Gotta quit sleeping on my face, I think. Maybe, probably, quite possibly. So, yeah, well, I gotta go to work in like, well, I gotta be at work in like an hour. It's currently one o'clock in the afternoon. I gotta be there for two. And, uh, well, that's gonna be interesting. Two to ten. And then two to ten all next week. Tuesday to uh, Friday, so yeah, yeah, it's gonna be all right. I don't mind that. Uh, so here's the battle plan for today, people. Gonna go do that working thing, and then uh, come home at 10. Let this guy out for <laughs> just kicking the shit out of his fox. Oh, you're such a nutty puppy. Yup. Yeah, yeah you, you teach that fox. I'm probably gonna have to buy him a new one because. Let me see if I can show you this. Can I have the fox? Hey, buddy. Can I? Can I has? Can I? Can I? Hey, give me the. Yeah. Hey, stop jumping. Ah! He just kicked me in the dink. Like, <laughs> what's left in the face on this thing? <laughs> it's just mutilated. I found one of his ears downstairs. This one here is about ready to come off. And uh, the tail's fine. There's no more squeakers. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the tail's not fine. But uh, the paws are wrecked on it and stuff. So, there's your fox. Enjoy. But I'm probably going to have to get him another one because he's really kicked the shit out of that one. And uh, it's funny because they have squeakers in both the tail and the head. And you give him about 5-10 minutes with it and the squeakers are dead. He'll bite through them and puncture the squeaker. So instead of making a squeak sound, he makes a click click sound. And uh, well, mom bought him one for over at their place. And it's uh, a fox again. And sure enough, uh, five minutes, he had the squeakers blown out of it. Done. No more squeakers. So, luckily, they sell them at the dollar store. Cause if, I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I bought that one when I was down at Blokes because they have a PetSmart. And that's where I found them. And they're on sale for 10 bucks. But now you can get them for 2 bucks at the dollar store. Same damn thing. So, those kind of chew toys, I like buying them. Not the ones with stuffing because the ones with stuffing, they become a mess in five seconds and wrecked in 10. And uh, he really likes that fox because he can really kick the snot out of it, chew the frig out of it, and it lasts a while. Like, this has almost lasted him a year. It's gross. You don't like picking it up because it has a smell to it. But whatever. It's all right. Uh, as for today, people, like I said, we're going to be going to work. Then at 10 o'clock, you got to come home, uh, let the dog out, and then jump in the G6 and drive crunchy uh, over to a uh, the, the hall where it's my uncle's stag and doe and then pick up my parents after midnight ish and then take them back home and then come back here and we're gonna do flyer day so let's get this uh, whacked out Friday done and going so without further ado welcome to my vlog So I know a couple other people out there have this Panasonic camera too, the, the 500K or 500M. Uh, when I bought mine off Newegg, a lot of people went out and bought the same deal. And uh, just wondering if you're having the same problem as me right now. Basically you charge your battery and it doesn't fully charge it anymore. And uh, I'd like to say it's because I'm not draining the batteries down, but this battery that I'm using right now is drained down to 3%. And uh, this battery here that I'm currently charging currently only has 5% left in it. And I just took this battery off the charger and stabbed it into the freaking camera and it's not giving me a full charge, it's only giving me an hour and 30 minutes, or an hour and 20 minutes, sorry, instead of an hour and 41 and it's already got one bar missing off the battery meter. So I'm wondering if maybe it could be A, the batteries are faulty or B, the charger is faulty. But the thing is, is I've been charging this camera off of the actual internal charger where you plug it in with the AC outlet into the side unit. I've been charging this camera off of my portable jobby. I've been charging, like, I tried the other charger, I tried the other camera, and they're all doing it. So the only thing that's kind of a coincidence is the batteries. But I have three batteries for this camera. I got the one that it's using right now, the one that's charging, this one up here, and theoretically I have a fourth battery in the 500K, which is the other camera. 
So, I don't know if it's the problem with the battery, camera, it's just being angry. I... Oh, holy shit, my fan nearly stalled from the wind. That was dicked. So I'm not sure exactly where the problem could lie, but uh, there's definitely an issue somewhere because the batteries just don't want to fully rip snot themselves at the full power, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure exactly what's happening there, and I'm wondering if anybody else out there is having the same issue that I'm having. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Yep, it is. Well, I'm really not a fan of getting up this late and then having to go to work, but uh, duty calls and. I said duty. Nah, <laughs> duty. But uh, we gotta. <laughs> duty. We gotta go to. Uh, <laughs> duty. Uh, we gotta go to work. We, we, we gotta go to work, so. Nah, <laughs> duty. So uh, let's get the dog some food and then we'll figure out the work and then come home and have ourselves a long weekend. Alrighty people, well it's a little after 1.30. We gotta get going off to work so we can get this shift done and over with. So without further ado, let's pitter patter and have at her. Yeah buddy. Alrighty people, let's get off to work here. I think Oreo might have thought maybe today was Sunday or something because uh, when I went to go fill up his food, he kind of started murping and chirping like he does on Sundays when I put food in his bowl. I like put it in a Tupperware container and we go to my parents. I, I think I'm not the only one who's really frigged up about this week. So I don't know about the rest of you guys, but frig on Wednesday I thought it was Friday, on Tuesday I thought it was Monday, and my brain is just all over the place. And even co-workers at work like like for instance Bruce he runs weird hours because uh, he's he works weekends all the time so like his shift is like Saturday to Wednesday I used to have that shift and uh, he thought on Tuesday that it was his Friday which would be the day after Wednesday but it was actually his Thursday and like this just this week's been really whacked out don't know why I'm having such a bitch of a time getting a grapple on things but uh, a super am, super am. Ah well, life goes on. At least I know for sure today's Friday. Tonight I gotta pick up my parents. I made sure to say that on yesterday's video because I know mom would have wondered if I remembered. No, no, I remembered. I remembered. Don't worry. Only thing I forgot was my car's not really 100%. Well, this one here's not too bad, but I can't fit anybody in here in the back seat, so. In order to uh, go pick them up tonight, I'm going to have to drive the G6. But uh, not a big deal. Got to do what you got to do to get shit did. Am I right? I know I'm right. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah. Well, we got a quarter of fuel uh, tank left of fuel left in this thing. Can't quite go the full two weeks, eh? No. cloudier and frigga right now no idea what it's gonna do tomorrow I know if I'm heading out to my buddy's house I'm gonna have to put some gas in this thing because uh, she'll be thirsty for that run that's for sure it's a good 20 minute drive out there so I gotta drop off cookie monster at my parents house tomorrow and then uh, I'm thinking tonight on my lunch break I'm gonna make a run to pet value because I didn't realize how low Oreos food was and it's looking pretty uh, yeah, he doesn't have enough for the weekend, so we're going to make a run on my lunch break tonight. Uh, whatever the hell that is. I don't even know when I go for lunch. But we're going to make a run over to Pet Value, scoop up Oreos, some more Om Noms, and then uh, I go from there because, frig, I didn't realize that it was that low. I don't mind going to Pet Value, then you get to look at all the kittens. And they're so cute. And sometimes if the kittens aren't too bad, and they're all house trained and stuff. They let them out of the cages, eh? And let them rom, uh, romp the store free range. That's what happened the one day when that black and white cat came up to me and started climbing my leg and wanted me to take it home and things. I was like, you're adorbs. Picked them up. I'm like, you're so cute. Pet, 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 pet. Okay, why isn't this lane moving? What, what the cock? Is it red light or people being dinks or what's going on here? Holy shit, people, an eco ped. Just when you think it's a scooter, and then you see pedals. It's chatting with one of the girls at work, and apparently uh, she almost clobbered an eco ped driver. Freaking dupe thought he was a motorbike driving in the middle of the road and shit, and came flying out of an intersection into the middle of the road while she was coming down the street. 
saw him last minute and just friggin' both feet on the brake come to a stop. She almost clobbered the friggin' idiot. Like, okay, you know what? It's nice. You're driving an eco ped. You're not polluting the environment. Blah, zay, blah, yada, yada, yada. But seriously, bud, in the end, you're still a friggin' pedal bike with an electronic assisted engine. Treat it like a pedal bike, not like a motorbike. Now there is, obviously, there's electric vehicles out there that are super quick. I think right now the uh, land speed record's being held by the, uh, what's it called, the, um, I can't remember the name of the freaking car. I think it's called the Supernova, but uh, it's holding the land speed record. I saw that post last night, didn't really read into it, but I saw that and I was like, well, that's, that makes sense. Like, those electric engines, they're just all torque. Like, look at the Tesla Roadster. That thing will will launch off the line and we'll, we'll keep a Ferrari back for a while. You know, with the electronic engines, they're so small and light, the heavy part of the car is the batteries. But because it's rear wheel drive, what they do is they put all the power, they put all the batteries in the back to keep the ass end on the ground. And then, then you can just give her. Camaro. Oh yeah, I found my lapel mic. It was in the Trans Am. I put it in the freaking uh, center console. Way to go me. Wait to go me. Somebody's trying to steal a car. Oh well, break them. Don't you love that nowadays? People hear a car alarm go off and nobody rushes out to see what the freak's going on. Everybody curses the damn things out like, shut up, I'm trying to do things. Still say the best car alarms are the ones like what, uh, what my buddy has when it's a Venom and it doesn't let off any audible noise at the car. It notifies his keychain that there's an intruder attempting to gain access. So then he can just like, you know, run outside and beat the shit out of the kid. What would be really awesome is if there's one, like a, a car alarm, where like it's warning that somebody's trying to break into your car, then you look out and you see it and you press a button and it like electronically charges the hull and just cooks the bastard. That'd be awesome. Just give him a nice little taser shock. Something that'll put him on his ass but not kill him. That would be cool. Then you could just go outside and friggin' zip tie the guy to the like a post and wait for the cops to show up. Yep, that's that's the kind of uh, security system I want for my car. Still remember the old security systems when they used to say at least to talk to holy shit, bud. See the lean to on that freaking I don't know what the hell kind of truck that was, probably a Suburban, but holy crap. Either buddy in the driver's seat's large and in charge, or his suspension shot. But, um, the old security systems needs to talk to the, you are too close to the vehicle. You are too close to the vehicle. People would initially freak out because the car was talking to them. But then they wouldn't give a shit. Oh, poor Oreo. Not sure what the hell's going on because... Me working two to ten just messed up his schedule and he just doesn't know. Pontiac Pursuit. That's what the G5 used to be. Oh boy. I'm still super tired. I didn't have any coffee today. I'll probably have a couple while I'm at work. Just to uh, break the uh, break the groggies. Luckily, I don't have to work tomorrow, so I can stay up super late tonight and play video games. Uh, what the frig's going on here? Okay, I'm just getting in the car and leaving. Oh, shit on a shingle, eh? Yeah, not exactly uh, totally awake right now, but uh, that's normal. That's normal vlogging life behavior. Oh well, frigate. Let's go to work, go into the office and see what kind of cocked up shit we got up against us today. Who knows, maybe we had another power failure and we're great dicked. I don't know, we'll see. Not a lot of people here today. Oh, it's a long weekend, I forgot. Of course not a lot of people here. Everybody would book today off. So they're gonna have four day. All right, well, let's shut her down here, close some windows, and uh, we'll call her quits for now, and we'll talk to you guys on my break, whenever the frig that is, so peace the frig out. Oh, frig, yeah, price of gas dropped eight cents. Nice. 
Guess I'll fuel up tonight. Why not? Alrighty, people. It's like freaking 5.45, quarter to 6, and it's my break. By break, I mean lunchtime. Seeing how I'm out of here at 10 o'clock, I decided to go a couple hours earlier than normal so I can go at uh, 5.45. I need to run over to the dog, to the pet store, get the dog his food. So let's get going. Alrighty, let's get out of here and go to the pet store and get Scruffy his food. The kind he likes. So yeah, Frig, I'm sitting there, minding my own business, and uh, freaking Angry Joe over there. Uh, minding my own business, I went to the store at, uh, ah, at around 4 o'clock-ish, I went to the store to go pick up uh, a free coffee, because they're doing that till today's the last day, tomorrow's their start charging for coffee again, and holy shit, my car is making some crazy growlings. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Holy frig, talk about traffic, eh? Son of a bitch. Well, anyway, I'm going to the store to get my coffee, and there's a simple rule at the gas station. Once you pump your gas, if you're not paying at the pump, if you're paying inside, do not move your car from the location where you pumped it. Well, Buddy Van Dudo pumps his gas and then moves his car. And this causes a big time ruckus. Now the whole reason why they want you to leave your car where it is and not move it is in case the computer inside screws up and it doesn't mash up the, uh, the gas properly, like it doesn't pump changes or something well, whatever reason they can just look at the number like which car is yours oh, oh the white Trans Am it's in number two you owe us this much money well what I clearly saw buddy do was he was at pump three then he pulls his car up to pump two where buddy only put thirteen dollars in I don't know how much money he put in that pump three but he pulled it up to pump two and he was he started arguing that he only owed thirteen dollars in gas and the lady's like no it's you were at this pump over here it's 25 dollars he goes no it's only 13 dollars well the guy gets all friggin bitchy with the lady throws 13 bucks at her not on the table or anything just totally gets friggin hostile throws it at her and says i'll never come back to this friggin gas station again you guys are a bunch of and then he gets all racial with it and i'm just like holy shit bro tame her down like are you serious and he just kind of looks back at me and he leaves and i'm like oh wow so they wrote down the license plate and called the cops but um like, freak sakes, it's like people are, are idiots. But yeah, I went and had my free cup of coffee. Still doesn't, hasn't woken me up. I'm just, I just want this week to be over with. <laughs> this week's just been friggin' weird. Next week's not gonna be any easier because it's two to 10 all week. It's really gonna throw me off my game too. Ah, well. We'll go get scruffy as food. Tomorrow we'll have some fun. Go out and do uh, a little drinking at my buddy's house. Just some relaxing and nothing too hectic and Sunday I'll come back and figure around in the garage. I want to work on the white tractor. See if I can figure that thing out. I'm honestly tempted to not use that ignition switch that Rex gave me. And just to completely simplify the white. Remove all the ignition switch and do like all the people on main mud mowers do. Get rid of the key and just put in a toggle switch for on and off. And a push button to crank over the starter. And then when you're driving you flick it to on. And you go, and when you're done driving, you want to turn it off, you just turn the switch to off. And that's it. Done. You know? I'm thinking that might be the best thing to do with that piece of shit. Then once I got it riding and stuff, I'm probably going to take it up the hill where... I don't know if you guys watched Rex's moto vlog when he went up the uh, pipeline. But I'm probably going to try and scoot it up there. Huh? Graduation's happening, eh? People taking off the limo rides. Thinking while I'm at the pet store, I might go over to the liquor store and pick up some booze for tonight after I play taxi cab for my parents. Go have, go home and have a couple drinks just to get the weekend primed. Traffic. And tomorrow I gotta drop off Scruffy, and then after I do that, I'm gonna have to hit up the beer store and get some liquor for at my buddy's house. So yeah, I'm not too worried about fuel mileage in this thing anymore. I was all butthurt saying, oh man, it's not getting the gas mileage used to. You know what? Honestly, it's a friggin' first generation V8. Who gives a flying fuck about the fuel mileage in this, right? It's a toy. It's, it's something I just have fun with. So I might put the 410 gears in the back. It'll make this a whole new monster. It'll make it take off harder, make it drive. It'll make it feel like a, like a faster car. I won't have as much top end as I did, that's for sure. But on the uh, the launch, she's gonna freaking go. And with the uh, the Detroit, uh, Detroit, the Auburn Locker, 
I'll have two tire fire. So I'm thinking I might just do the friggin' 410s in the back, or at least 373s. And it'll feel like a whole different car. Like, it'll be fast as frig. Well, it'll have acceleration as frig. It won't be faster. It'll just accelerate out of the hole quicker. Oh, shit, that's a really long limo. Son of a bitch. I've only been in one of those once. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, green for them, not for us. Frigo sakes. Frigo sakes. Frigo sakis. Going to the pet store, gonna get scruffy, fluffy some food. like a rock star holy shit a lot of people in the liquor store that's for sure good thing I got a lot of time I'm not running home right away I'll run home at 10 drop off scruffy as food let him out for shit hang out for a bit with him get him all to calm down and stuff before I bail again and then uh, yeah we'll go from there but we're gonna go to pet value and then hit up the LC so I'm gonna park right here so it's like a perfect even walk that'll work okay so I'm gonna head inside grab scruffy as food and shit and then we'll go over to the liquor store and grab some liquor sound like a plan cool all right guys peace the frig out Alrighty, just got out of the liquor store there and friggin busy as shit in there let me tell you everybody's in there buying booze for the weekend and things and Pet store is pretty easy going, got Oreo his food, and I ended up buying six tall boys of Caesars by, uh, by Mott's. So, should be pretty awesome. So, all we gotta do now is get through the next four hours of the shift, and uh, we're golden. So I'm gonna head her back to work. Let's hammer down. I don't know if you guys can see that straight right in front of me. Let's see if I can do a camera zoom on it, but that, my friends, that van just drove in front of it, freak sakes, is a Pontiac G8. I'm telling you, if I would have found one of those when I bought the G6, I would have bought one of those instead. Because uh, that, my friends, is a beautiful car. The G8 was the answer to the Impala. It was the sister car to the Impala. And my god, I love them. An aggressive looking front end, hood scoops, and if you get the real nice one, you get them with the uh, the big V8, and they put out stupid numbers. It's like a 6.2 liter V8 or 5.3 or something, I don't know. Some big ass V8 in it, putting like a bunch of numbers to the pavement. Pretty awesome car for sure. Pretty awesome car for sure. Gotta watch out here because one of these assholes could come flying out of here and just dick over my ride. So now I gotta head back to work and then go home and then go pick up my parents and then go home and then look at flyers. Oh shit. When we go home, we're gonna throw this liquor in the fridge. Freaking love Mott Caesars. Yup, sure do. It's my favorite. <laughs> what do you guys see this? It's like propulsion technology. It's on a skateboard and he has a big dog, eh? So he just has to push once and the dog just keeps pulling him along. It's perfect. It's kind of like dog sledding, but not really, because it's more like dog skating. So that, that kind of works out well. Except when the dog comes to a dead stop and starts taking a crap and your board's still going, then there could be problems. But, you know. Holy shit. There we go. Oh, there goes my beverage. Gave Oreo a good brushing last night too, so... I shampooed him up in the tub and then hair blowed him and then dried him off with a towel and then just let him air dry for a bit and when he was nice and dry. I put the fur conditioner into him, which is great because he's got this big quet behind his ear and I'm really scared to chop it. But I got most of it out with the fur conditioner. But um, 
Then I put that through his fur and brushed him and I made another Pomeranian out of him. I pulled a lot of fur out of that puppy. So and his fur is so soft right now and he smells like lilacs. You know, that's until he finds the scent of his enemy in the lawn and decides to roll in it. So hopefully that'll hold out till tomorrow so mom and dad can be like, Oh my god, he smells so clean and pretty and yeah, we don't mind keeping him and stuff because he doesn't stink. But yeah, that, condi that fur conditioner is great for taking out stubborn knots. You just lay the douse to the knot and then work it in and then you can literally take it out with a comb or a brush. I prefer to use the big thick, uh, kind of, it's just a comb, but it's like the, the, um, the, I don't know, the prongs don't bend, I guess, the prongs, they don't flex. So then you just go through it slowly and it'll untangle the fur and that way there you don't have a dog with a partial clump bald spot on them. But I'm going to have to make another appointment there soon and send them into the uh, groomers and get them a buzz cut. Might help them tolerate the summers a little bit better. Just might. Just might. I was thinking about going to the store now and gassing up, but I'll show you why I'm not going to bother when we get back to work. Big, big piss off and a prick tease to boot. Should have went before I went to work, that's one thing for sure. I should never wait. Freak seeks. Freaking love our new cop cars in this town. Those uh, Ford Tauruses with the SHO engine. The show, for show, yo. Pretty sure that stands for super high output, but uh, I could be wrong. Forget my brakes aren't that good. Nope, that they aren't. I shouldn't say that, they're awesome in this car. <laughs> well, the front brakes are, the rear brakes are just there for sure. For sure? For show. Because uh, they're just drum brakes and they're kind of shit. That's how I don't understand how those old, older cars that ran on nothing but drum brakes, how the hell did they ever come to a stop? Drum brakes are literally useless. But they did, they were able to stop. You just had to start stopping a lot freaking earlier than you wanted to. Seen a bunch of people online do the conversion where they put the fourth generation axle on these cars or fourth generation rear end into these cars just so they could have the disc brakes. And pff, I can't be bothered. I never race, I never drive fast enough to really care, so. Bow rig it, you know, just off bow rig it. Okay. So we're back at the, uh, the office. Friggin' stove the uh, Trans Am over here. Close up the window. And we're done. So I'm gonna head her back inside. Actually, probably gonna have a smoke. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Yeah, I got 10 minutes before my lunch ends and the other guy gets to take his lunch, so not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. So I said I really wish I would've got gas when I showed you guys earlier. You wanna know why? This is pretty dick. It kinda pisses me off, but I'll get over it. The price is back up to a buck twenty-nine point six for frig sakes. Oh, why would you do this to me? I swear that gas station's just trolling my balls. Just, just trolling my balls. Just trolling my balls. Ah, oh, well, at least we got everything we need for a good weekend so far. Just got to go pick up some liquor tomorrow, and I'm probably just gonna put like twenty bucks of gas into the friggin' Trans Am and call her quits. That should be enough to uh, do what I need to do. Friggin' sucks that I have like 60 bucks in gas sitting in the G6 and I can't use it because the front end's cocked. But I was thinking about maybe contacting my buddy Chris and having him do the suspension on the G6 just to get it done with because I have a feeling when, when my buddy Chuck gets back that uh, he's just not going to want to bother. He's just not going to want to, like he's going to be so busy with, with, you know, he's got kids and a girlfriend and all sorts of things going on that He's not going to want to sit there and spin wrenches, so I was thinking about just getting my buddy Chris to do it and get her done and over with, and then we're good to go. And then she'll be uh, ready to rumble. I'll be able to use her again. But uh, I really want to drive the ball bag off the Trans Am as much as possible this summer to make up for how little I did last summer. And it's a lot easier now that it's only my two cars in the driveway, so I can, you know, I can easily pick in the morning which car I want to use, G6 or Trans Am. Just jump in and go, you know? Like if it's a real stupid hot muggy day, and I'm just coming to work and going home, I might shit my pants. 
you know, what I might do is I might just say, Frig it, take the G6 with the AC and go. But uh, I have options, which is nice. So, and I don't have to play the old shuffle the cars to figure out which one I'm driving type bullshit, you know? So I kind of like that. Like not last year, but the year before, I had the Trans Am parked on the side of the road just to make it easier to use whichever car I wanted to use. And I don't like doing that because sometimes big trucks come flying up the street and they're not paying attention and they could just friggin' bulldoze your car and wreck it. So, they wouldn't give a shit. Ah, well, I better head back inside and carry on with this night, so I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out. Alrighty, people, it's friggin' 845 at night, and uh, I just can't wait to get off work, so... I can uh, go pick up my parents at that thing and then go home and freaking have a couple drinks and just chill out because this week has sucked. <laughs> like I said, I've been having some serious problems realizing what time it was and what day it was. And, oh, it's just been a brutal week. I just need to go home, chill the frig out, and uh, relax, and that'll be awesome. So basically today, because we're short-staffed, I'm working from 2 till 10, and... Uh, there was a guy on day shift who was supposed to be working from 10 till 6. Well, nobody on day shift worked 10 to 6. I worked 2 to 10 and that was it. And this is what doesn't make sense about it. It's because between 2 and 4, which 4 o'clock is when I was supposed to start, I did two calls. It wasn't even busy. It was dead. So it was kind of pointless to have me come in at that time. They had three people on this morning and two of us on tonight, but after 10 o'clock at night, there's only one person left. So it was really pointless to have me come in and work 2 to 10, and they got me doing this all next week, which is pretty pointless, because on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, it's going to leave the, uh, after 10 o'clock, it's going to leave it with one person working, which just doesn't work. It doesn't work out at all. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh, well, it's just the way she goes sometimes, eh? Oh, I can't wait to get out of here and head home, though. It's going to be nice. Three days off, frig yeah. Crazy British bloke put up a, a drag racing video of Tyler. Freaking guy got a zero zero reaction time, eh? What are the chances of that happening? You'd figure it'd be like 0.1 second. No, he ran the moment the light turned green. That is friggin' awesome. I've never seen that before. Uh, on any time slip, to be honest with you. On any time slip. That's friggin' awesome. Chat with my buddy Craig last night and I asked him about the prices to go to the races and he said uh, if you go on a Friday night, which I work every Friday night so I can't, uh, a test and tune is 25 bucks all night and you can run as many times as you want. So I don't know, I'm tempted to. I'd like to go and just watch the drag races, maybe film a couple and stuff and you guys probably enjoy that, you know. I know you guys enjoyed it when, I, when Bloke and I went to Sparta and we filmed the drag races and that was kind of fun. but. Uh, It'd be interesting to do it around here, see what kind of, see what people are running around here. I know my, that thing there. Like my buddy has a 1987 Pontiac Firebird with the 305 throttle body injected and a 700 R4. It's basically the exact same car minus all the body kit. And his front end, like his hood doesn't have the stupid little hood scoops on it. Mine does. The only difference between the cars is cosmetics as far as the engine and transmission goes. His is pretty much like mine, except for I have mine rebuilt with the shift kit and all that because it didn't cost me any extra to get it rebuilt with that. So I figured, frig it, go ahead and make it stronger. So they put stronger internals and all that shit into it. And uh, the Corvette servo and all that. And made this, makes the transmission shift super hard. Like when you're really goosing her, if, like if I'm on the throttle and she goes from first to second, that back tire is breaking free and she's gonna squawk. So uh, my car would probably be a little bit quicker than his, except for the fact that he did the 373 rear end upgrade. And he said he was doing uh, quarter mile time. It's kind of it was kind of pathetic. He was doing it in like friggin' 18 seconds, which is kind of you know really upsetting when you think muscle car, but far from muscle. <laughs> like it, it sounds it has the grunt and all that, but it's not really a quick little car. Um, when I dynoed it, like I got one of those uh, G Tech gauges or whatever they're called. You stick them on your dash, dial in the weight of the car, and then you go from zero. You wait for it to say go, and then you friggin' tromp on her, and then you, does, you do your 0 to 60, or you basically go until it tells you to stop, and it tells you your horsepower rating. Well, when I did it with the car prior to having the uh, new transmission, it came up to 122 horsepower. Now, those things are plus minus 10%. They're not accurate, but it's a good thing to gauge a car on. It's like a weigh scale, right? You know, you go to your buddy's house, use their weigh scale, and then use your weigh scale, and you're not going to get the same readings on both weigh scales. But... If you're just using one weigh scale to weigh yourself, you're gonna get a proper reading and know if you're doing the right thing or not the right thing, right? That's the way that, that works. Same with that G-Tech meter. 
you know, you put it on your uh, your windshield, you do a run, and it tells you 120 horse. Then you end up going to get your exhaust done, which I did. And then I did it after the exhaust, and I went from 120 to 127. So obviously the stock exhaust was really restrictive, so when I went from the two and a quarter inch pipe, or two and a half inch pipe, to three inch, all the way back, uh, it gave me a little bit more jam. And then I did the open air element, and that got me up from uh, was it 125 to 128 and that was with the old transmission now with the new transmission it might be a little better because it can transfer more power to the rear end and not slip as much so we took it out for a rip and yeah it did I'm sitting at about 142 horsepower now uh, to the wheels so that's pretty good I'm not getting as much parasitic loss out of the transmission as I was before so it would probably be really noticeable like a, with the 273s obviously going to 410s I'm not going to get more horsepower the horsepower is horsepower that's it that's all if anything I'm going to get more launch less traction however less traction is not a big deal because it would probably be a little better because I wouldn't have the one tire fire it'd be a Auburn locker so both tires would squawk so I'd have double the force pushing the car off Right now it's an open diff, so when one side breaks free, um, that's it, right? Let off the gas and let her hook and go. At least that's my logic on it. I'm probably really wrong on that, but uh, right now it's an open diff for your end, so when one tire breaks, that's it. One tire just burns and the other one just sits there looking like an idiot. But uh, I'm tempted to go see what it does stock and then put the 373s or 410s into it and taking it out again. A lot of people were like, don't do it, it's going to kill your fuel mileage and stuff. Well, I only drive around town, like I say. Once the G6 is up and running and that thing's on silver wheel, well, I won't be driving that every day to work. That'll be a, let's go for a cruise, jump in the Trans Am and go for a cruise type car. It won't be a everyday used kind of car. The G, that's what the G6 is for. So, I think the 410s or 373s even would give it a lot more jam. And he said he was doing 18.6 with his, uh, when he had the 273 in the, in the car. And when he went to uh, 373s, he dropped himself down to like 18.1, 17.9, depending on if he launched right. So, gave him a little bit more hop off the line. And, you know, you're probably thinking like, oh, that's only like point, you know, only a fraction of a second. Well, in a, long, a lot of times, that fraction of a second will mean a lot in a quarter mile race, you know. So, and if it makes the car funner to drive, then that's even cooler. That's what I say. Because let's face it, people, driving is fun. Admit it or not, it's fun. It's fun to be able to jump into a car and get to a location fast and have that much control over a machine. It's, it's a fun thing to have, but you also have to respect the fact that you're driving a freaking a bullet, pretty much, because you could do a lot of damage with that car if you lose control of it and you, you hit somebody or hit something and you know, you're also putting your life at risk every time you get in the damn thing if you're not careful, so. Just gotta not drive like an asshole and uh, enjoy the ride. Anyway, people, my break is over. I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with this night. It's gonna be over soon, and then I'm gonna head her home and we'll get shit did. So let's pitter patter and have at her and get this shift over with for frig's sakes. Yay! The shift is over. It's time to go home. It's only 10 o'clock and I get to leave early. I love this kind. I just like the fact that I'm leaving. On a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. All right, let's get the frig out of here. to see me he's bouncing up in the air and stuff and oh i'm gonna have to invest in a wheelchair for him probably in the future if he keeps doing this jumping thing so the reason why i don't want him jumping it wouldn't be a big deal if pomeranians didn't have this flaw is they are notorious for their knees giving out because they have apparently no acl or they have a weak acl and with him jumping around like a little lunatic the problem is, is he's putting unwanted strip. Why are you looking up there? Why are you looking up there? Is there a bee up there? Oreo was looking up here when he came in. I don't hear any bees or see any bees. But, uh, and by bees, I mean those wasps. 
But uh, I got Oreo's food here, chicken soup for the soul. This is what we feed them for dog lovers. Contains chicken, turkey, duck, salmon, and vegetables. Enriched with a bunch of shit. Helps clean teeth and reduce plaque. Uh, six pound bag. This lasts some like a good month. So um, I'll show you the ingredients here for anybody who really cares if I can actually find them. What the hell? Oh, it's written on the side. Son of a bitch. So like the reason why I buy this is first ingredient, chicken, then turkey, then chicken meal, then turkey meal, then cracked, uh, bar <laughs> really? <laughs> he knows that's his food. <laughs> you know that's your food, eh? Yes, you do. Okay. So that's why I buy it for him is because the first ingredients are meat. And that's what you should always look for. If the first ingredient in your dog food is something like rice, chances are it's shit. Also, the beverage of choice tonight after I'm done playing taxi cab. Mott's Clamato Caesar. New size. 458 milli motherfuckers. Yeah, this is gonna be tasty on my shit. When I shoot fireballs out my earth. Whoo! Well, I'm gonna text my dad, have me a bite to eat real quick because I didn't really eat supper tonight. And, uh, probably head over there. Gonna have to take Crunchy, which sucks, but it's the way she goes. Alright, let's rock and roll. Alrighty, people. Probably can't see me right now. I don't have the light on the camera turned on, but I'm heading off to go pick up my parents at that thing. And... Nope, that's poop. I was gonna fart, but something got in the way. So let's get the frig out of here. I need cigarettes. I need cigarettes. How the fuck did I put my cigarettes? Oh, this ain't good. Oh, there they are. Okay. Got my cigarettes. And, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go pick them up and then come back and get into the liquor and look at some flyers. Sounds like a good time to me. It's been a while since I started this car and the battery was feeling a little low, so I'm probably gonna have to replace the battery in this one too. But uh, she's charging now, so. Oh well, whatevs. Let's go pick them up and uh, come back and drink some beers. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully it's not too crunchy. I really don't get this car, people. Now it's running fine, I'm not making any noises. Working great. It's fucked. What the heck are you doing? Rock and roll. You too. Rock and roll. Guitar hero. Guitar hero, people. Oh, people, I'm a big, big fan of the sandwich. Big, big fan of the sandwich. Yeah. We, got, we got a costume contest happening here, people. Best costume contest. Oh. Again. I'm getting happier. Oh Jesus. Okay. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch up. No, that's not right. Tigger, tigger. Okay, how about if you just do how about you just do a dance and then we'll see. Oh, we well, gotta go people copy, right? Here, people, it's been done before. Amanda has won the loser. Oh, the victim! The victim!
victim. That. That makes me happy. <laughs> and Henry. Sit in your pants. Henry, <laughs> you are the lucky one to put the pie in Amanda's face. Lunch, people. He's at the lunch. As for us, I'm bringing my parents home, and I'm calling her quits for the night too. So let's go home and get drunk. Friggin' right, people, I'm back home. I just let the dog out. He's so happy to see me right now. Probably hear him down there snorting and, and jumping on me. Look how happy he is. He's like, "You're home. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Oh my god!" But um. Yeah, that was an interesting party. You probably noticed already that uh, the audio was cut out of it and Arcane Fire and Ice music was put in. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, the problem with parties like that is they play a lot of copyright music and YouTube's... Hi! I'm gonna pet you. I'm gonna pet you. Yes, I loved you. You're a good puppy. Ah, you bit my arm here, you crazy bitch. But... <laughs> uh, <laughs> The uh, YouTube's been really anal lately about uh, copyright and all that shit. Well, not really lately, but... So I had to uh, do some... Uh, <clears throat> some sort of tactics to get around it, right? Because uh, otherwise, uh, you know, copyright claims and all that shite. So that was my strat. Alrighty, people, it's four in the morning. I've killed like five of these fucking Mott's Clamatos. I am fucking turbo drunk right now. Can you tell? Can you friggin' tell? Skitter the douche! Hammed! I still need the douche. Uh, I still need the shoot flyer day. Haven't done it yet. Flyers are in the other friggin' room. I gotta work my way over there and get this done. Also, for funsies. <coughs> I've gone ahead and I've upgraded the memory on my phone. I found a 16 meg class 10 uh, memory card in my desk and gone ahead and stoved it into my phone. So if I freaking uh, go over to uh, the uh, settings here and storage, you'll see here it's like, oh, you only have like so much memory there, but oh, look at that. Oh, oh, 14.9 gigs free on the freaking SD card. Oh. Oh, because um, I might end up using this phone to do a lot of my filming tomorrow night. Problem is I bring my camera over to my friend's house and I do filming and I end up losing my camera a lot of the times. Yeah, pretty dead. So I'm thinking I might end up doing some of the filming from my phone. Just saying, it could happen. Skittily do. Also, this is a good way to end this work week. Because as I said before, this week has been kind of nuts. I have been forgetting 
which day has been which, and it's been really cocking with my appliance, as one pug life would say, yep a dip. So I'm thinking that I'm freaking drunk right now and I forgot what the hell I was gonna say. Son of a bitch. So I think what we're gonna do now is... Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. Flyer day, flyer day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales, so much sales, love the sales. Oh, friggin' right. So let's do flyer day, people. Skitter de douche. Just a heads up, flyers kind of suck this week. So let's start off with food basics because I go there so often. So we'll check out and see what kind of shit they have. Get ready for the long weekend. All flyer special start Thursdays, June 2, uh, 27th, and friggin' Canada Day. Yeah, buddy. Oh, $3.97 for a pound of friggin' awesome steaks. Yeah, I like that kind. $5.88 for some, some ribs. I like ribs. I'm off the cola and the soda, but if you guys like the soda, it's on for a sale. If you like the soda, just saying. I can't eat ice cream, but if you can eat ice cream, it's a good deal. Just saying. If I eat ice cream, I fart a lot. A lot more than usual. Yeah, that sounds friggin' tasty. Harvest Crunch. Now you can eat your wheat in a box. Oh, it's the family size, people. Now you can share your chocolate with the whole family. Frig yeah. Why would you want to? Oh, juice in a little bottle. Oh, frig yeah. Fruité or Tropical Grove drinks. Oh, they have apple juice? I freaking love apple juice. I pay that for apple juice. Everybody wants to get into the meal market, eh? Those sons of bitches. I freaking love hummus. Oh, no, everybody can have the, the uh, famous King's Buffet meat on a stick. Yup, meat on a stick, people. Oh, if you ever been through a real, yeah, you probably went through Weber's, and now you can get the Weber's Beef Burgers straight out of the corner store. Frig yeah, get your bucket of Weber's Burgers for $7.99 for frig's sakes. Oh, a little chunky. So if it's 1% chocolate, what's the other 99%? Gotta ask yourself that and shit. Oh, I need to buy that. I friggin' love Mr. Freezy's. They're great in the hot summer days. Just friggin' choke one of those some bitches back and your body's all cool. It's like Mr. Freezy cools your body down and other friggin' things, yeah. I'm not allowed that kind anymore because I kind of sort of challenged Bubba to a friggin' drink, uh, drink off. Nope. No, nope, already did that tonight. Son of a bitch. No, to a diet. And if I eat those, I'll kind of, he'll beat me and things. Fuck. You make me itchy. Go frig your face. Oh, I friggin' love sausages. What the hell's a flesh back pig? Oh, that's figs. So what the frig is that? I don't know if I pay seven bucks for something that I don't know what the frig it is. Oh, Roma tomatoes. Now get tomatoes shaped like torpedoes. Frig yeah. Mmm, buns. Holy shit on a shingle, that's a good frickin' deal for Clamato juice. Let me tell you a little something about that, which I just did, because I said it was a good friggin' deal. I'm gonna go buy me 25 bottles. No, I lied. Let's take a look at independent grocers, because I go there a lot. Yup, happy Canada Day, people. For the for the Whole beef tenderloins, skinner to dish, look good. If only I knew how to cook these, or for that matter, knew how to eat these. Last time I had a lobster tail, I like literally bit into it and it didn't work out well. True story. Mmm, kebabs, love that kind. I freaking love pizza. 
and Delisio makes good pizza. Yes, they do. So, like, what does it mean when it's medium? Like, really, medium what? Like, there's fat in it, but there's only like a little bit, or like what? Oh, <laughs> people! Chicken wings. Who doesn't love chicken wings? Look at those. Look at how succulent they look. Yeah, buddy. That's a good price. Oh, it's take and bake, and I help. Little square pizza things. Take and bake. Like freaking prepared in the store. Take and bake. Oh, it's extra lean chicken breast from Ziggy. Because anything from Ziggy is delicious. Trust me. I know a guy named Ziggy. He can cook like a son of a bitch. If I only knew a guy named Ziggy. There is something critically wrong with this fruit. They have beverages named after Pomeranians? That's fucked. Cupcakes! The fuck? Free form bacon. That looks like a steak. It says it's bacon. I give it a try. I love carrots. So does my dog. Oh, friggin' juice. Blend. What the hell? How can it be juice blend? It looks like juice. What's it blended with? Tell me more information, flyers. Frig, you suck. Oh, Philadelphia cream cheese. If only you were a hell of a, you might actually stand a chance. But, 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 the real question is, is where the frig's the start? I wonder if Oreo would like these milk bone things. Maybe I should buy him some milk bones. See if he frigs them over. Or even some fancy feast. Because he is kind of prissy like a cat sometimes. Tresemme twice a day makes your hair so silky smooth like hers. I do her. Motherfucking cheese whiz adds personality. Skish personality. So much greatness and so much process. It tastes like fart in a jar, but he will love it. Cause it's cheese whiz. Put it on celery sticks too. Oh, sweet green relish. Put it on your freaking burgers and hot dogs and other things. I fucking love pepperettes. I really need to shave. And get some deodorant. Everything on this page looks fucking delicious, including the Canadian cake. Look at this. You could be patriotic and then eat your patriotism. Tell me you wouldn't want to do that. Cause I know I would. Alrighty bitches. Welcome to Future Shop. Exciting stuff. Check out our holiday hours and shop online anytime at www.futureshop.com. Guess that's a good deal. 60 mother friggin' inches of good deal. <laughs> It's one of those little ultra books that everybody seems to be so horny about. <sighs> I friggin' want one of these new GoPro Hero 3s because they have a microphone input and it would make my balls a lot easier to manage. I mean, it would make my videos a lot easier to manage. Freak sakes. I gotta smarten up. Fuck you, JVC. You haven't made a good product since forever. Oh, Sony. Have you fixed that autofocus problem you have so often? No? Go frig yourself. <laughs> Class 10 my ass, bud. Freak sakes. Lies! I wonder if that deck would fit in the G6. That'd be friggin' awesome. Oh yeah, 50 bucks off a MacBook. <laughs> I'm kinda liking those A10 processors. They're pretty decent, actually. I told Dad he should buy one. Oh, Samsung Galaxy released their new Note 8 tablet. It's actually pretty decent. If you want a tablet and not a phone. It's pretty good. Seems a lot of these all-in-one computers are coming up nowadays with the touch screens because of Windows 8. When Windows 8.1 comes out, we'll no longer have to go into Metro mode for Windows 8 and life will be happy once again. 
For fuck's sakes, that's a great deal. That's a great deal right there. Holy shit, really? Why are you so expensive? Better off to buy like this guy here who's like almost a quarter of your price, not really but kind of sort of, and get the same amount of space and things. Why are you so expensive? I love how many people have already invented these Dyson fans for like, take the three off the end and drop 20 bucks off the rest, maybe 30 bucks, Oreo sneezing behind me because he's like that. But, you know, for like $49, you can buy a brand of this fan for cheaper than Dyson. And they don't have to put all this bullshit on there. Because all this is, is you see the little vent hole in the bottom? It's just a turbine that pulls air up, throws it into the stupid ring, and spews it out in your face. It's a simple setup, people. Not much technology was involved in creating this piece of shit. It's not worth $400 just because it has that stupid Dyson name on it. Fuck sakes. Someone want to loan me 700 bucks so I can buy that and I might use my Xbox more. Oh, got a fart. <laughs> oh shit. Honestly, people, I got the S4. I got rid of my iPhone 4 for the S4. And this phone is fantastic. Front facing, rear facing cameras are like 1080p. The speed of the phone is stupid. Like it's fast as frig. I surf on it all the time and like I, I love this thing. I don't even use my iPad anymore since I bought this because this thing's faster than my iPad. This phone is by far the best purchase I've ever made and it costed TELUS money, not me. And it's a great freaking deal. Do not get the S3. Is it the S3? What are you? Yeah, that's the S3. Don't bother with this piece of shit. Go balls deep. Get the S4. I'm telling you, you will love it so much. It's awesome. Both Cat Piss and Canadian RC have this truck. I saw it in action. I kind of sort of want to buy it but I have a Truggy, so I don't need it. If only you were a crawler. Why can't you be 42 inches for that price? Stupid TV. I wonder how good those sound. Huh, all right, I think this is Canadian. Oh yeah, it's Canadian Tire. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's move on to Canadian Tire, people. Yeah, buddy. I was thinking about buying one of these for my bedroom, or maybe even the kitchen. Either way, I was thinking about buying one of these or something. Robots are taking over our lives. If I was a child, I would want that. I wonder if that shit actually works. Oh yeah. Processed sliced cheese. Mixed with Uncle Ray's. Add some vegetable oil. A little bit of milk. Some Dempster's bread and eggs and some salted or unsalted butter and you end up with some potting mix. Yup, some potting mix. Yeah, the egg. This could be my next mudding tractor. I was honestly tempted to buy some of this shit to take care of the front yard. Now you too can look like a member of Starfleet Academy. Yup. You know what the bitch of, of pedal bikes nowadays is? I can't find one with the proper rectangular frame to install a gasbike.net gas engine to. None of these have the proper frame. For frig sakes, smarten up a bike designers. Let me make the motorbike that I want. That one might do it. Okay, I don't know what you are, but you look like a lot of fun. Just a little bit. Are these kids laying in an air mattress playing Nintendo Wii U, for freak's sakes? Oh, uh, people, one day only, on Thursday, July 4th, which already... Wait, what? No, that's next week. Heh, 
7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Buy gas and save five cents per liter off the posted price. It pays to buy gas here. How? How? Uh, checking, checking. Well, how the fuck do you do it? What? And on the back, it's just like free caramel bars and fucking two bucks off. The, why don't you tell me anything, flyer? Oh, I fucking hate you so much right now. That's a pretty neat looking trouble light. Just saying. Oh, the Walker Texas Ranger freaking quiet flow mufflers. Not even sure what you guys are, but I, if I were to buy one of these, I want the stainless steel model just because it looks awesome. What the fuck are they? Half horsepower. Well, I don't want to make a well. I'm going to buy neither. Damn, dog. That's a good price, I think. What, how much are they asking? Uh, regular $149, 70% off. $34.99 for a bunch of impact sockets. Or $149 for a whole shitload of friggin' regular sockets. That's a good deal. I'd like one of those frying pans with the lid on it. And honestly, those are pretty good prices down below that I'm looking at. So that'd be pretty good. Yeah, I'd like to get a ceiling fan for downstairs in the kitchen where I have a stupid gay ass hanging chan chandelier. I'd like to get one of those because it might help with things. Holy shit, they put my car bulb inside of a light bulb and called it a halogen bulb. Wow, that's expensive. Wait, what? Okay, no, it's not that expensive. Frick you, Coca-Cola. You make the population fat. Alrighty, people, that's all we have for Flyer Day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, as you can tell, I'm hammered out of my friggin' tree right now. So, um, yeah, that's what made it more interesting and ridiculous. You're welcome. Alrighty people, I'm not sure if you can see behind me there, but the sun is coming up. It's currently like 5 o'clock in the morning. I need to shut the vlog down and go to bed. I got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. If you guys made it this long through the vlog, right on. And uh, I should probably let you know that Sunday there will be no video. Because I will be nowhere near an internet connection to make a video. So, yeah. Shutting her down here, calling her quits. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, people, keep on friggin' vlogging. Yeah!